Hi there. The book we're going to talk about today in the series on martial arts is uh, the autobiography of uh, the UK's most prominent and successful mixed martial arts fighter, Michael Bisping. Uh, and he's titled his book, Quitters Never Win, which really is, is a, a great way of summing up his career. Now, Michael Bisping uh, grew up in Lancashire, Clitheroe, Lancashire. His father were, was in the army and um, he became interested in uh, the martial arts, initially jiu-jitsu at a very early age, about eight, and then um, competed in various forms, including uh, up to um, full contact fighting. And um, he... Uh, decided to pursue it as a career. The book covers all his early training, different coaches and systems and so on, his, his early fights, very, very interesting stuff. Um, but then he uh, competes in the Ultimate Fighter um, competition in America, the um, In the House Series 3, and uh, manages to win. And... Uh, joins the UFC and uh, he has a, a terrific career as a UFC fighter um, many many fights he um, when he lost uh, he was nevertheless very exciting now back in the UK when he was training he uh, was uh, heavily involved in the mixed martial arts he was training at a gym just outside Liverpool and a couple of friends of mine used to train there as well. And one of the fittest guys I know um, said Michael Bisping's fitness, uh, his cardio and his condition is just off the charts. Um, so many, many years ago I was aware of this, this guy and, and just what a, an absolute physical machine he was. And this really was his, his mainstay in the UFC, was his ability to, um, to fight to the full. Uh, now he he can be very abrasive and um, rubs people up the wrong way and he admits this in his book that that he can be like that um, and it, it did put a lot of people off and uh, but when you read the book um, you find out he's got a great sense of humor um, he's a committed family man very admirable qualities and his, his um, absolute commitment to training and, and to winning uh, runs right through his, his whole life. So the book is very illuminating from that point of view. Uh, among the fights in his career that we can mention is when he fought Anderson Silva. And uh, it, it was um, really a, a fight of ups and downs as far as uh, Bishop was concerned because at one, one stage it looked like he'd lost um, but he actually came back to win the fight and I, I think that was a big turning point in his career watching the fight um, it, for me I, I, I was and I'm a, a big fan of Anderson Silva but I was also obviously a fan of Michael Bishop um, not least because uh, you know he, he's a, a, from the UK um, but I I had followed his career and I did admire his way of fighting and being able to beat Anderson Silva um, really was a big big step in the right direction then of course he had the opportunity to rematch Luke Rockhold uh, which came out the blue uh, it shouldn't shouldn't really have happened but it somebody fell out and um, Rockhold needed an opponent he'd already beaten Bispin rather easily and um, Bishbin uh, knocked him out and became champion. So that was the pinnacle of his career. And uh, deservedly so, because uh, he um, wasn't handed ending on a golden platter. He, he had to work hard for everything. And um, he, he, he never lost sight of his goal to be the champion, even though at times it looked like he'd never attained it. So, um, since uh, um, retiring from active fighting, he's become 
uh, a very, very good commentator. Um, his insights um, are, are always um, very, very um, worthwhile. He uh, has a podcast uh, full of um, his comments on mixed martial arts in general. He's been inducted into the Hall of Fame. And really, it's um, the book uh, really just shows the um, trajectory of uh, a British MMA fighter who managed to end up as world champion and uh, all, all the steps along the way. Uh, it's well worth reading. Uh, if you're at all interested in the UFC, um, it'll be a book for you. And I really enjoyed it.